The athletic community here is insane. We represent a lot of people that aren't seen on other teams. We all can like share in this new experience. Everyone has a friendly face. You know when the game days are and you always have people cheering you on. I think Augsburg's just super in tune with their athletics. People give me a chance to compete here high level in college. Yeah, we've been told it gets really hard to play in the Augsburg gym just because of how loud we make it. I don't even think we have a quiet person on the team. Some of them are sassy, they, and they love the spotlight. Some are more uh, just goofy and fun and bubbly personalities. They, they got a lot to say and a lot of energy to say it with. It's a group of very different people, like, but like, it, it just works. Yeah, it's it weird, works. but it works. Yeah. Like when my teammate locks her keys in her car, like I'll be there, <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> You know what they want to throw, and they know that they can shake you off, but they know if they're wrong, then they're going to hear about it in the, in the dugout or off the field. Hey, I've been thinking a lot about that talk we just had in the locker about why. What's our why, right? And I think for each and every single person, it's, it's because it's, a, it's a group of family. And who doesn't rely on their family? Everyone working together to help accomplish our goal of being the team national champs. What you're doing has, like, has a meaning to it. We gotta be brave and go after it and take those moments and make them count. We're not afraid to be the underdogs, so I think we have a great mentality of kind of showing up and surprising people. I agree. <laughs>so small we're all very close and we know how to push each other and get each other to be our best during practice and at meets. I can trust them and I can rely on them. I think it depends on the definition of what winning is to you. For some people it's winning the race, for some people it's winning the game, for some people it's um, kind of just winning the tournament or whatever it may be. What I find personal in my life is winning is just pulling up to that practice and winning that practice specifically. Just winning. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of winning is that sense of accomplishment with your teammates when you just use grit and got through a hard game or pushed through something difficult. When you win, um, it's just a great feeling. You beat the one person head on head, you trained hard, um, and every, everything that you put in to prepare for that one match, that seven minutes, all the weeks that led up to that one match, is worth it. When we win a game, we always go and high five the fans after, and that's one of the best things we get to do is celebrate those with, celebrate the win with everybody around us as well. It was so fun to go to the corner and celebrate with all the fans that were watching. It was absolutely blissful. It was a celebration. The hug, the hug at the end. The, the hug at the end. <laughs> the dog pile, the locker room. It's just a blast. And then after we sweep, Coach Mac chugs the rest of the chocolate milk down on one knee. We look forward to that at the end of the games for sure. You gotta want it. Yeah, you gotta want it. Let's go. I want to be the best on the team. So to be on the best on the team, you, you do have to push yourself harder than everybody else on the team. But the good thing about that is that everybody has that same exact mindset. So you want to be the first one to cross that line. Same as the person right next to you. So they push you, you push them, and that's ultimately how a team is able to prosper and, and, and move into bigger, better things. So there's no better feeling than, than getting that win. Celebrating with your team. Like, there is no greater atmosphere than celebrating on the bench with your team, having a sick celly on the ice. Celebrate the win with everybody around us. When you win, you step off the mat, you're celebrating with your friends and your family, and you, they're all proud of you and stuff. <laughs>
All right, we kind of got to do that little like that little loose with the arms. I've had my own personal best days, and those are spectacular. I would consider that weird. You kind of just have this after feeling of like, I did that, like we got to where we wanted to be. And I think that's the coolest part. I mean, we're biased, but I, we got the best team in the Mayak for sure. I mean, 100%. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Gavin Dunbar for our Hail Mary against Gustavus. He picked up two guys on his side to allow Kate to step up in the pocket and deliver a good ball down there. And I just told Cade, it's time to be great. I see the ball go up, and it was like slow motion in the air. And then I, I looked down, I could see Tyrone. I looked back up at the ball, and there's, there's, I'm like, Tyrone's got a shot at this. I saw him go up, and I didn't see the ball come out. I was already running down the field. I think I had one finger pointing. It was just, it was crazy. I think I was running down like this from the 50. I wasn't even tired, and usually I am running that far.